Hey guys, I'm just gonna make a Christmas song. So, the, so if you think, like, what is that in your head? Well, that's my shelf. Can I take this off now, Mum? What is it? The green thing. Yeah, I'll just cover your hair. Okay, so, as you know, as you can see, I've just been in the bath. We've just come out, so I haven't had much time to do this. But go, and then you can clean my hair and do the video. So, I'm going to make my own video. Well, it's going to be a Christmas song. And if you want to see my pet snake, here it is. What's that got to do with your Christmas song? It's my <laughs> pet snake. Well, what's he got to do with the Christmas song? <laughs> He's helping me. What's your snake called? Hi. Your snake is called Hi. Slither. Slither. Its name is Slither. Slither and slime. shopping and we got holly cereal for christmas day what cereal is it hall frozen two cereal what are we having for dinner tonight can't remember what it's called savory savory pudding <laughs> savory rice savory pudding are you having your hair in flat Next. No, I'll just have it down. No, not now. For school. Are yeah. You, yeah, okay. I'll make your passing so, very differently then. This is my pajama. But I'm going to make a new song. I can't sing that well, Mo. Well, yes, you can. What song do you want to sing? I don't know. I can't use somebody else's. We can sing somebody else's, but you can't use their actual song in the background. Yes! Don't be rude. She's saying it's Sit up. Okay, so I'm going to make my own song. Christmas I'm doing this. I can't use that. You can't use it, but you can take inspiration from it. Everybody takes inspiration from each other. Slither and shine. Slime. Slither and slime. <laughs> Slither and slime. Uh, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Slip that and slide. <laughs> Snake divine. Slither and slide. Slither and slide. <laughs> You could make up a song about two times tables. I have no idea what I mean. I am not making a song out of two times tables. Come on, Slither. And Slime. And Slime. Alright, there you go. Your hair's done. Slither and Slime. Genie. Divine, no, snakey divine, slither and slime, slither and slime. Oh, that was a bit too loud. Oh, that was a bit too loud. Yeah, 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 that was a bit too loud
<laughs> we wish you a very thankful and a happy new year. No, it is not. Good, because I'm going to have one. Do you mind? No. Right, my battery's running out on my phone, so I don't want to stop it now. Okay. I'm back with my song. I'm a little Christmas cracker. Hanging on a Christmas tree. If you pull me hard, are you exploding parties? If you look out of the window, you Closely up to me, you will find pretty patterns. And when Santa arrives, you better be good for him. Because in, he's in town. If you're lucky, you might stroke Rudolph for the whole day. And Merry Christmas to you too. Oh, and by the way, my song is actually called I'm a Little Christmas Cracker. Hang on the Christmas tree. That's my, my song's name. So. Hey guys. It's not been a great vlog day, so I apologise in advance for that. Not that there's really a lot I can do about it. The day is the day and I can't make it any different. Um, Holly's in bed now. School again tomorrow. The weekend does really go too quickly. This is Jess's advent calendar, by the way. I just bopped myself in the face. Just feeling a bit tired. Um, and a bit wishy-washy today. Um, something did happen this evening that has made me feel a bit pants and I'm just going to be open and honest and share it with you. So, Jess, <whistles> Jess. So prior to um, myself and my partner getting together, a um, bit of a backstory about that. We've known each other since we were 18 years old, so we met in... 2006 I want to say when we went to university he was the year above me I was the year below him obviously I'm a year younger with regards to an academic year younger can't remember anyway whatever regard it doesn't matter um and we kind of like had a fling type of thing going on backwards and forwards over a course of like a couple of years um and then obviously he went off and did his thing i went off and did my thing i had a baby i moved to birmingham not in that particular order and he was with somebody for quite a long time their relationship broke down my relationship broke down i was a single mum for ages and then i think i'm not sure we've always kept we didn't keep in contact as in like messaging each other during that time but we were friends on facebook We'd always like remain friends on Facebook and, you know, you just drop in on people's Facebooks every now and then, see what they're up to, don't you? And it's just, that's how Facebook works. You don't necessarily have to talk to somebody. Um, so anyway, his relationship had finished. So he, want, he was like, crap, I'm 30. I want to get back on the dating scene kind of thing. So he did. Um, and he was dating... A local girl where we live for a while and then for whatever reason he decided to get back in contact with me and then obviously we were messaging one thing led to another we ended up meeting up hitting it off and now we're together um and then obviously this girl that he was seeing or lady whatever you want to call her beforehand sort of got the cold shoulder from him and was like he was like you know, I met somebody else, we weren't serious anyway, sorry, have a nice life type of thing, you know, it, it is what it is, these things happen, um, I guess you could say that she was his rebound, um, anyway, she 
she, for whatever reason, will not fuck off out of our lives. So we were together for, so we got together in January and then the following January, been together a year, we celebrated our year anniversary. Um, and I like to post stuff on social media, as you know, some of you here follow me on my Instagram as well. Um, and there's still a uh, Instagram memory of our like date. We went out for a nice fancy restaurant dinner and cocktails and then got a taxi home and it was lovely. And when I was in the taxi rank, because we had to wait like 15, 20 minutes for a taxi, um, I was flicking through who'd been looking at my stories and her name popped up and I was like, oh, that's, why would you be looking at photos of me and your fling ex on our first anniversary meal type of thing? And then as I was uploading more, she was the first person looking at them. So you know when you get like 116 people have viewed this, when you put up a new one and then you check like six people have viewed it or whatever, she was the first person to view them. And I messaged her and I was just like, look, love, I understand that you were like my partner's rebound or you were like having a fling after whatever. Um, I just wondered why you were looking at our photos type of thing. Um, I hope you're happy. I hope you found somebody, have a nice life type of thing. Um, I said, I was like, I'm not out for an argument. I just kind of like want to know what your beef is type of thing. Um, I'm not an argumentative type of person. And she never messaged me back, instantly blocks me. Um, and I was like, okay, it's strange. And then sort of like, then I was obviously intrigued by her. I was like, well, if she's interested in me, should I be interested in her? Should I be worried? Should like, you know, should I be like, oh, like jealous of this like ex fling type of thing? And then she's followed me on Twitter. And then as soon as I, this was like ages afterwards, she then followed me on Twitter. Um, and then as soon as I like clicked on her, so like follow her back, she like blocked me and then I couldn't even search for her name. I was like, oh, that's just stupid. And then um, on Facebook, she kept popping up in my suggested friends. So it's like, you might know this person, you have ex mutual friends with this person type of thing. And obviously if you're a local girl, um, you're bound to like, you know, you know somebody by like the connection of five or six or something like that. So you're bound to know somebody who knows somebody who, like if I go to Slimming World and I'm friends with people from Slimming World and then she works with that person. Do you, I don't know, it, it happens, doesn't it? Um, and then I was like, okay, so that's, that's strange. So I went back on Instagram and I was like, trying to find our old, my old message and then she'd still have me blocked. So then I sort of like, just like left it. And then anyway, cut a long story short, cause we could go on and on and on and on. Like things like this have happened little by little. So we're now coming up to January again. So we will have been together for like three years come this January. And this evening she added me as a friend on Facebook. I accepted <laughs> 30 minutes after the request messaged her immediately just saying hi she didn't even read the message and she instantly deleted me as a friend and then blocked me and i was like do i and i messaged my partner and i was like look i can understand in the beginning that she'd been a bit like you know been given the cold shoulder in a bit of a huff whatever but we're now three years down the line. We're nearly three years down the line and she's still doing this weird social media thing where she's like looking at me. She's basically looking at me. And like, he's just like, oh, just block her, this, that and the other thing. And I'm like, well, I shouldn't really have to, for one. I've got nothing really to hide or whatever. Like if she is looking at my, my profile, then w what is it that she's getting out of it type of thing? like photos of me and him and Holly having fun together. I mean, like, you know, good luck to you. It's just weird. Um, 
if you're gonna have me as a friend, don't wait for me to accept it and then delete me straight away. Read my messages, answer what I've got to say. If you've got a problem, just message me and be like, whoa, do you not think that you like ran off with my partner or something like that? I don't know what her beef is. And I, I, I just said to my partner, I'm not deleting her because I do want to message her one day, find out and be like, look, what, what is going on? So yeah, anyway. I might not upload that, I might, I might cut some of it out, but uh, I'm glad I got that off my chest because it's just weird. I just feel better about saying it out loud. Moving on to my Jane advent calendar. All right, this is called, right? I was looking at this, I was thinking about this quite a lot today because I'm a bit annoyed by this Jane advent calendar. I wish I would have like looked out for one in the supermarket because this is called the premium Jane advent calendar. And I'm just like, to be fair, nothing so far has been premium. Like I've liked all of, I didn't get along with the gin I had last night at all. I did drink it through gritted teeth in the end. I was just like, uh, the more and more I've drinking it, the more and more I was just like, this is not for me at all. It's not disgusting, but I was just like, I would, it wouldn't even be on my bottom of my preference list. It's just not on my list at all type of thing. Um, and the amount of money that I paid for this, I just think, Meh. And like Edinburgh gin, like I don't consider that to be like, you know, anything special. You can get it in the supermarket and stuff like that. And um, the other ones have been great, but they've just been pretty bog standard as well. So, and like the lakes, I had that in the last calendar. There's nothing like original. Like the only original thing I had, uh, which was last night, was not very nice. So fingers crossed for a better day today. So we've got number six down here. I think I'm gonna do a whole review video about this because I think drinks of the dram need to know that like this advent calendar isn't very good at all. Um, I'm not overly enamored by it, which is a shame because I thought that of them as a sort of like prestigious company. So day number six. Ooh, that's Boutique Gin Company. And this is the Moonshine Gin. So that's something. I have heard of the Boutique Gin Company before. They were somebody that came up when I was doing my gin advent calendar search. And I like anything to do with like moon, stars, space and everything like that. If you watch um, the vlog of when me and Claire went to London, we stumbled upon an exhibition in the Natural History Museum all about the moon. And I feel like we could have just literally stood and stared at this massive moon model in that room for hours. Like we literally could have just like laid on the floor and stared up at this moon. It, it was a, like such an amazing experience. And I'm super gutted that I didn't go back and see it another time because it was incredible. Anyway, moon, oh no, not moonshine, moon shot gin. Moon shot gin, not moonshine, moon shot, my bad. Um, so a vacuum distilled London dry gin and it is a 46% to that one. So fingers crossed, I can guarantee it's just going to be like a plain standard gin. There's going to be nothing like ravey about it, but at least we've got something that I haven't tried before. And then my partner's advent calendar which is just the whiskey advent calendar there was more expensive ones than you could get from this this was more expensive than my gin one i believe um but i think you could get even more expensive ones than this on drinks by the dram but this one not that i've tasted any of the whiskies but this one i seem is just like nicer There's, it's coming out with all stuff i've never had before my partner's never had before to my knowledge either so yes numero six where are you number six all the way at the top the only drama i have with this one is the doors on it it's really tough going you've got to like rip it and make it look horrible And what have we got here? We have got Loch Lomond. There we are, I spoke too soon. I have tried Loch Lomond. 
Um, it's a single grain Scotch whiskey, which is a 46 BBD. It's very pale in colour, this one. Kind of looks a bit like we. <laughs> um, Loch Lomond is definitely one that I have. I have ever heard of it. Pretty sure I have tried of it. Tried of it? <sighs> tried it as well. So yeah. Do you know what, guys? I feel like 10 times lighter by splurting all that out on camera. Um, whether it's TMI or it's not something I should talk about, but this is my channel and if it makes me feel better by airing my grievances, then that's what I shall bloody well do. Anyway, so I'm gonna go and enjoy my moon shot gin, not moonshine gin, moon shot. So, yeah. So we're on six days. I'm thinking of doing sort of like a, a seven day overview, but then I guess I've just given you an overview of what I really think of it. But yeah, I definitely will be doing a video about all of the gins because I'm not impressed so far. Mm -mm. Anyway, I'm gonna call it for this, I think. It's getting on for like nine o'clock, it must be getting on for nine o'clock. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's half past eight now, so I'm gonna get my gin, put my feet up and whew, relax with my festiveness. See you all later.